Hey guys, welcome to the Data Tech channel. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. In this channel, we talk about the modern data technologies and today we will see how to create a link service uh, in Azure so Snaps Analytics for BigQuery. Uh, it's going to be a quick video it's, uh, because I already created these scripts to do this, but we'll see. And one more disclaimer, this is uh, not uh, like an industry standard practice. This is uh, like a workaround for like beginners or learners to see how these things work. Okay, so without further ado, let's start. So to create any linked services, first you log in into your Azure Snaps Analytics Studio, click on Manage, go to the Link Services, click on New, and it will give you the list of all data sources to which Azure Snaps Analytics uh, can connect and our target is to get BigQuery. So as we click on BigQuery to click new, so you will see there are like few things which we need from uh, from BigQuery uh, portal. So one is the project ID, the other things are client ID, secret ID and refresh token. And there are like two ways of authentication. One is the service and user. So service authentication is the recommended or like you can say industry practice, but uh, uh, the problem for that, like, but the problem with it is like, you can do that only if you have, uh, um, everything is in your, like a private network. We don't have it, we're doing it on a public network. So that's where we will use the user authentication. So let's go to the Google and get the client ID, secret and refresh tokens. So I'm in, this is my Google platform. And uh, so just one thing, like you need, you already need to have, uh, like I'm guessing you already have like tables in your BigQuery. So the first step is like search for the API and services as I you see, yes, you just type API in your search bar, this will come, you click on it, you go here, and then you click on the credentials. So one thing I want to mention, like if you don't click, like just if you hover over it, like credential O. So the first thing you need to check your O auth uh, consent screen. So the reason being, uh, I'm saying that uh, like if you haven't set up that, it is required. So I already did. So it's. Uh, it's, it's a simple process. You just create an app and publish it. That's it. There is nothing. There will be like two step process, which uh, very intuitive. As soon as you like you go to that, you will understand that. So the next step, and if you already done it, that's good. But if not, that will be, as I mentioned, it's very intuitive. It's not very confusing. It's just you need to, in the end, like just click on publish. And the next step is you go on credentials and Click on create credentials, OAuth client ID, pick your application type, and then the name, you can pick whatever name you want, or you can stick to the default. I will stick to the default. Then you don't have to add authorized JavaScript origins. Next step is just add the redirect URIs. So I'll add my local host to it. You have to do the same as we don't have any web application. And as we click on create, boom. So we get the client ID and client secret. And if you remember from here, we need three things, client ID, client secret, and refresh token. So we already got client ID and client secret, but uh, refresh token is still not there. So I already have uh, scripts for that, which you need to run in your PowerShell and it'll be good. And the link to those scripts uh, will be provided in the um, like in the description of the video, so don't worry about it. But uh, let's first go to the those. Let's first copy these. So client ID is copied, and let's go to the script. Copy to V. We paste it. Then copy the secret. So this is the first script. So there will be two scripts. The first script is to generate the uh, OAuth code URI from Google. And once you get it, we'll copy paste into their browser, authenticate ourselves, then we'll get the refresh token. And, and then after that, we need to run the second script and you will get the refresh token. 
Okay, so we are good to run this in our PowerShell. Okay, click on this, search for PowerShell. It's here, PowerShell. And this is like Windows uh, scripting thing. But if you are running things on Linux or uh, uh, I'll say MacBook, for MacBook, you can do this pretty same in Terminal. Probably you have to modify a bit and same goes for Linux. Like in your Bash shell, you will be able to do it, but um, you need to modify a bit. It's a very simple, like if you look at this, like if you look at the query, it's very simple assigning the values, uh, requesting the authentication from BigQuery, account name, client ID, and like we just uh, concatenating in, and in the end, we will get the link from it. So let's copy paste this to our bash. Okay, before running, yeah, we should just check our uh, credentials are perfect, 5.com, perfect. And go here, enter, boom. So now you just have to copy paste this. Go to your browser, enter, select your mail, and then it says it's not a verified application, but we still advance because it's we build it. And go to the tech, allow, there's one more allow we have to do, perfect. So as we redirect it to our local host, you get to here, we copy this. Control C, sorry, Control C, and now we go to the second script. This is here. So in second script, uh, like you don't have to do much, just replace this code URL and client ID and secret ID. Perfect. Let me replace client ID and secret ID too. So we'll see. We perfect. Now let's copy this. And one thing, uh, just keep in mind: if this query fails, you have to redo the step one and step two. Like you need to run the first script again. So if you get any error or anything, just redo it. So let's clear it and to be bang. So you get the refresh token, client ID, and secret. And now the third script we have this is the JSON for our uh, linked service. So here you whatever like so this is like a as a simple JSON key value pair kind of thing. So whatever properties you want the values you want you have to place replace them so name whatever linkedin name like whatever your link service name you want to give uh property keep it like that this the, this thing has to be your project in google uh big query here your client id will come here your value will come and here is your refresh so these are my old ones let me replace with the new ones which we got and uh Okay, uh, once, like, uh, let's not do it. Just, once you have it, just copy paste it. Go to your, here. So don't, like, don't have to, like, uh, other, like, you have to mention your project name, which will be Azure, uh, whatever is your project. So in our case, it's Azure Data. Let me click OK. Azure Data Source. So you have to mention Azure Data Source here and then click on advance and you can place your json stuff here and once you have everything in there just you need to click on test and you should be good to go uh that's that's pretty all like uh i'm i'm not testing it uh because i have to copy paste everything but you, you got the idea and that's all for the today's video thank you uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe and uh, be safe. Have a good one.